As I covered in my previous video on photosynthesis, plants can convert light energy into chemical energy through light reaction or photophosphorylation. The second step of photosynthesis involves the Calvin cycle, which utilizes energy derived from sun to convert carbon dioxide to sugars. The Calvin cycle occurs in three stages. The first stage is carbon fixation. The enzyme ribulose one 5 bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase, abbreviated as Rubisco, catalyzes the covalent attachment of carbon dioxide to the 5-carbon ribulose one 5 bisphosphate, abbreviated as RUBP, followed by cleavage of the unstable 6-carbon intermediate to form the 3-carbon 3 3-phosphoglycerate, 3 abbreviated as 3PG. For each round of Calvin cycle, three molecules of carbon dioxide combine with three molecules of RUBP to form six molecules of 3-phosphoglycerate. The second stage involves the reduction of 3-phosphoglycerate to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, which shares several enzymes with gluconeogenesis. First, 3-phosphoglycerate kinase transfers phosphate group from ATP to 3-phosphoglycerate, producing 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate, abbreviated as 1,3-BPG, which is subsequently reduced to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, abbreviated as GA3P by glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase, or GAPDH, coupled to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+, which is distinct from NADH use in gluconeogenesis. In the second stage, a net total of 6 molecules of 3-phosphoglycerate is converted to 6 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, which hydrolyzes 6 ATP molecules and oxidizes 6 NADPH from the light reaction. The third stage involves the regeneration of RUBP from glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Only one molecule of glycerol 3-phosphate is produced from each cycle. The remaining five molecules are reconverted to three molecules of RUBP through a series of steps that resemble the pentose phosphate pathway, which involves the net hydrolysis of 3 ATP in the last step converting ribulose 5-phosphate to ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate. Therefore, the net reaction of the Calvin cycle involves the assimilation of 3 carbon dioxide into one molecule of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, which hydrolyzes 9 ATP and oxidizes 6 NADPH derived from the light reaction. Photorespiration is a costly side reaction of photosynthesis. The enzyme Rubisco is not absolutely specific for carbon dioxide as a substrate. Rubisco can also condense molecular oxygen with ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate to form 3-phosphoglycerate and 2-phosphoglycolate. 2-phosphoglycolate is a metabolically useless product, which requires a costly salvage pathway known as the glycolate pathway to be reconverted back into carbon dioxide. First, in the chloroplastroma, a phosphatase hydrolyzes 2-phosphoglycolate into glycolate and inorganic phosphate. Glycolate then enters peroxisome and is oxidized to glyoxylate by glycolic acid oxidase, which is coupled to a reduction of oxygen to hydrogen peroxide. Glyoxylate then undergoes transamination reaction with serine to produce glycine, which is exported to mitochondria, where a total of two glycine molecules undergoes oxidative decarboxylation to produce serine, ammonia, and free carbon dioxide coupled to the reduction of NAD plus to NADH. Next, serine is exported back to the peroxisome, where it serves as an amino group donor in the earlier transamination reaction of glycine, converting serine to hydroxypyruvate, which is subsequently reduced to glycerate by alpha hydroxy acid reductase, which is coupled to the oxidation of NADH to NAD plus. Glycerate is then transported back to the chloroplastroma, where it is reconverted to 3-phosphoglycerate and ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate through the Calvin cycle. The net reaction of the glycolate salvage pathway consumes oxygen and produces carbon dioxide from ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate. Instead of synthesizing carbohydrate, it wastes the carbon atoms from ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate as carbon dioxide, while spending an ATP molecule in the process. Photorespiration is an energy-consuming process that led to evolutionary adaptations in the carbon assimilation processes in plants. C3 plants, including rice, wheat, and soybean, only uses the Calvin cycle to assimilate carbon dioxide, which occurs in the leaf bundle sheaf cells. Carbon is fixed by Rubisco as the 3-carbon compound 3-phosphoglycerate. C4 plants, including sugar cane, corn, and maize, typically grow at high light intensity and high temperatures. They have a modified carbon assimilation process that reduces photorespiration. To prevent oxygen from interacting with Rubisco right away, Carbon dioxide that enters the leaf through the stomata does not immediately enter the Calvin cycle. Instead, carbon dioxide condenses with the 3 carbon phosphoenolpyruvate to produce the 4 carbon oxaloacetate. By the enzyme phosphoenolpyruvate carboxylase, or PEPC, which occurs in the mesophyll cell. Next, malate dehydrogenase reduces oxaloacetate to malate, which is coupled to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+. Malate travels across plasmal desmata to the bundle sheaf cell, where it is oxidized to pyruvate by the malic enzyme, releasing carbon dioxide that can enter the Calvin cycle. Malic enzyme also reduces NADP+, to NADPH, 
Next, pyruvate travels back to the mesophyll cell where it is reconverted to phosphoenol pyruvate by the unusual enzyme pyruvate phosphate dikinase, which simultaneously phosphorylates pyruvate to phosphoenol pyruvate and phosphate to pyrophosphate. This reaction involves the hydrolysis of two high energy phosphate bonds to regenerate phosphoenol pyruvate. The C4 pathway is more energy costly than the regular C3 pathway. For each molecule of carbon dioxide assimilated in the C4 pathway, a molecule of phosphoenol pyruvate must be regenerated at the expense of two high energy phosphate bonds in ATP. C4 plants typically outgrow most C3 plants during the summer. When the temperature reaches about 28 to 30 degrees Celsius, and which the gain in efficiency from the elimination of photophosphorylation is more than the compensation for the energy cost in the C4 pathway. Can plants, including succulent and pineapple, develop another pathway to overcome photophosphorylation, while also minimizing water loss? Unlike C4 plants, which separate rubisco spatially, the can plant separates rubisco activity over time. At night, when the air is cooler and moister, the stomata is open to allow entry of carbon dioxide, which is fixed into oxyl acetate by phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase. Oxyl acetate is subsequently reduced to malate and stored in the vacuoles. During the day, the stomata are closed to prevent water loss. Malate is released from the vacuole and converted to pyruvate by malic enzyme to release carbon dioxide to enter the Calvin cycle.